Okay, so we're back. It's loading me into the game now. So it was maybe a 20, 30 second wait. So it wasn't too bad. So this opening here, this little cutscene has a little, uh, little bit of audio. So we kind of. Here. Here. Feel. So just in case a few of you don't know too much about this game, uh, it is an online MMORPG. Hey, hey you! You're right, lass. You're a Mona Sutton fierce for a while there. Friend affects the Aether, I reckon. You get used to it though, don't worry. You there, halt. The brass blades of this guy. What's this? What's all this about? Inspection. Men search the carriage. I'm just an honest peddler, friend. So, or uh, don't be disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? Find your tongue, old man. Best I cut it out. Sir, look. Somnus. Honest peddler, what peddler was it? This one do honest peddlers deal in prohibited herbs. You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You rot in a dungeon till the end of your days, unless you can afford the fine. <laughs> Business as usual. Almaja, Almaja, two arms, two arms. That you say? Ooh, those some decent looking dudes. Seven hells, consider this a warning. Now go, all of you. Oof. Dude, that kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. Be careful around them brass blades, lass. 
bastard will have the shirt off your back if you fancy it. Like common bandits they are, only less honest. Thanks for the good sending some beast thanks. Thank the gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Hey, seeing as we still got a, a long ride ahead, you mind keeping me company until we arrive? And youngins don't much care for conversation, see. Runs the name and peddlings my trade. Oh, me. Peddlings me trade. Sorry. I'm fucking up the accent. I'm just like, you know. And judging by your unusual garments, I would you really want to done new eventually. I knew it. Going where the wind blows. Seeking fortune and glory. And that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventures have a risky business these days, especially. I wasn't the first attracted you to it. We're gonna say to gain power. Power as in er power to be good, like protecting the weak and fighting for what's right and all that. I I thought that's what you meant. Well adventuring adventures do get up to a lot of fighting, that's for sure. You never be short on a chance to polish your warcraft in the adventuring business. When we arrive in town, you'd best to roll at the adventurers guild. I'll set you on the right path. And it wouldn't hurt to join the guild either. Neither. Who Dodge has a few had a home to a few, but you fancy learning how to fight with the sword, your fists or even spells you should think about seeking, a, seeking one out. Just remember though, more important things than fortune and glory such as breathing. And then, ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. By the way, it's your first trip to the... Uh, we'll just say yeah. It is, well done. I this journey be Intenerate tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Blue Dodge ruled by the Sultan in name, but as most folks know, the Syndicate holds the real power. Them and their ministrous minute, their cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether. But that won't happen while she's still her hand loyalty of the royalists and the royalists are nothing if not loyal these factions have long fought over power throwing the weight of their wealth against each other and they show no sign of stop of course the lizard men that's the al majala couldn't care less about udian politics they have their own interests see and that and they ain't afraid to force to use force to serve themselves. Serve them. Good. They say war is a gift to peddlers and breed and profit. And though it shames me to say, I'm include I'm inclined to agree. Ah, at long last. Behold, Udab, Gul Salam. You folks turn tan into gold. Pardon me if my reading is like very deep in the sun baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Her name, Ulda. <clears throat> Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era. Hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nald Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul.
One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. Ah, uh, here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the markets to deliver my wares, and it's on the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by way of things putting up with me. Prattle. You never did tell me your name, though. Hey. But here's an idea. You come the sort of stories you come to sort of stories personage I can brag about having met and I'll consider us square. Yeah. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. got going on here uh... so again guys explaining before I was you know cut off by all the uh here we go uh this game is an online mmo you do play by the players inform parties and stuff like that make guilds buy uh homes oh oh adventure over here Check this guy out. Hey, I mean you. Fresh off the carriage by the, any chance, eh? How can I tell? <laughs> Name's Wayman. And my business is knowing every buggers. Every every buggers else. Now done. What if I was to offer you some invaluable advice by way of Welcome to our fair city. Free of charge, even. Just this one's life. Welcome to Uda, the shining beacon of prosperity, rising in the deserts of the Tenland. Let's select the control screen you want to use. Well, I'm obviously using the control. And just uh, like that. Follow the instructions above the character to just position the camera. When you're ready, proceed to speak to Wayman. Uh, already? Okay. So, online MMO. This is basically the tutorial of the game. So you have to run around. You're not going to see anyone just yet in the beginning. Um, but yeah, there are clans, there's like guilds, raids, all the typical stuff we from an online game like this uh, and unlike most of the games though you can switch your class at any point in time right now I am what is called a fur mage which is basically a black mage um, and if at any moment if I felt like it I could switch over to any other class just by um, getting to a certain level with this one and then I would go to the guild of that class and mm. Let me just get rid of this. Okay. So I would go to the guild of that class. And this is here. They're just telling this the tutorial stuff. Accept it. Boom. Um, just playing to anyone with eyes that you don't even know your way around here. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you'd certain get mugged for or worse. And I don't want that on my con. So before you do anything else, you'll want to head up over to the quicksand and speak to Momodi. She's the master of the Ventures Guild. 
and can set you on the right path. So basically, you're re reiterating what the uh, you know caravan guy just said. Let's take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for good luck with adventuring, adventurer. And you know, your typical MMO stuff. Uh, you can buy housing. What you can do for things, there's like the crafting is, I enjoy the crafting. For some people it's a little bit tedious. Um, class changing, mounts, all types of good stuff. Well, hello there. Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you've come to the right place. Name's Mamodi. And I own this fine establishment if it pleases you. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Udad. You might say that looking after green adventurers like yourself is my vocation. And lucky for you, that it is. Without someone like me to steer you right, you'd soon find yourself out in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. We can, like our conflict with the Al Maja, for example, they've been plaguing this salt, that is Sultanage, for high, for nigh on oh forever now. And then there's the. Garland Empire, and then can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. I, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry, worry, and a lingering feeling of loss. And little wonders, it's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing the abomination intent on turning the realm into an into an eighth hell. So much we lost in a blink of eye, it was like the end of the world had come at last. But the thing being being to get but then but then things begin to get foggy. Everyone got their own version of what happened next. Some of them, two or three. I think people remember something like that. But the fact is, they don't. Nobody does. There's one thing the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their own lives for the realm that wasn't their own. They fought violently, and like so many others, they never returned. These worth, the, worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame our recollections of those brave heroes are just are, are as jumbled as those of the Calamity itself. Whenever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like they're, they're standing between us and the midday sun permanently silhouetted. I bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Oh, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can't remember them, we will, will not let them be forgotten. So we call them the Warriors of Light. And they forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. And that's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. All I ask is you lend a helping hand and try to leave Udad in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'll be happy to let you join the guild. Alright then, promise is a promise now. I can count on you to help put the past behind us. We, p we need people working on spreading and on spreading and bricking like the old days and a happy and prosperous udon means more business for the quicksand too any road let's make this official go ahead and write your name in the register neat as you can might end up like just doing the opening here because uh, um, 
Linda Dragonfang. Well, ain't that a charming name? It rolls off the tongue, it does. What's it? All right, Miss Dragonfang, on behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially. Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve as my witness, I swear to you, I'll bring you your money. In the East, it is said that even a merciful God might have driven, might be driven to vengeance if thrice blasphemed. Be grateful we're giving you a fourth chance to offend you to attend to this scum. No, oh, please, mercy. Well, ain't that a sorry sight, nor an uncommon one. If I'm honest, don't worry though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll ever end up like him. Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, give me a visit. Just don't go bother me for every time you stub your bot bloody toe, all right? Of course, I do enjoy hearing the lady muse about the many manhoods of her acquaintances from time to time. Any road, welcome to Uda, Linda. Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. Woohoo! I don't know if I should like keep reading things. This concludes the instructions of game tutorial. You have taken the first steps to an adventure as an adventurer in the city of Uda. Listen well to the wisdom of Momodi Momodi Modi. Then go forth and discover the incredible adventure that awaits you. Main scenario, so it's just telling you that that little symbol above her head means that that is a main scenario quest. So whenever you see people that have that symbol over their head, that is a quest that will uh, further the current main scenario that I'm working on. Um, so basically, like I said, it's your typical MMO. You know, partying with people. All that other stuff, quests, very long and involved storyline. A lot of people don't take the time to actually like uh, read the storyline stuff. Kind of just like you know, tap, press X, go through all the buttons. But the storyline is actually pretty good. Um, I have been playing it since it came out, and I have not even finished like everything because I, I, I've fallen on and off playing it. You know, actually like I haven't finished the original main storyline i still actually gotta do that the heaven sword stuff i still gotta do the storm blood stuff and then now shadowbringer stuff so, you know there's a lot of stuff i actually still have to do myself that i have not done at all yet and um so i actually wanted to sit there and record this and uh share the experience with you guys so uh we're gonna sit here and accept this quest boom where do you go charging off Find your fortune. I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform as to help you get to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit. Huh? No. No. Uh Was telling us about the Smiths. There we go. Quest itself. Let's 
So basically what I plan on doing in this game is anything that's like main storyline related, I will um, keep playing, I will record, I will show you, but anytime I have to like grind or anything like for instance if I take up one of the uh, crafting classes and I have to grind to get our materials and then craft stuff to build up my leveling on that, I will not record any of that. I will do that. Maybe I'll do that as a live stream type thing. And what I'll do is for anything episodic like main story missions that will be recorded. So um, if you think that's a great idea, leave a like or, or leave a comment in the description, the description in, 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 in the comment section. To me. Let me know what you think. Um, should I go on and keep reading the text or should I just, you know, go through it slowly so you guys can read it yourselves and stuff like that. I mean, you know, let me know what you think. Um, also, uh, I know I have not posted any other videos. There was uh, an issue I had with my PlayStation and a lot of my stuff got deleted off of the system. I know, again, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm having to re-catch up with myself on a few of the games so I can record it again. Uh, I do have a a uh, few other videos that I'm going to be working on. Hopefully I'm going to be able to start uh, pushing out a, a, a few more videos. Um, more and more. So I'm going to leave this video at this. Yeah, sorry, I didn't get to see any of the actual gameplay yet. But the game does tend to take a little bit of time, especially if I'm reading. Um, but if you liked it, let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like, share subscribe as usual and thanks for watching goodbye and see you around